I'm super excited to be able to make YouTube videos again. It's been a long two years. A lot's changed. I no longer have my BMW. I now have a 2011 Audi S4. It's got the three liter supercharged motor in it. So I figured we just jump right into it and figure out five reasons I really like the car and why would you still want to buy one? Number one, the engine. Why you might ask? It's awesome. It's reliable. It sounds good. It's got 333 horsepower, I think, stock 330. It's got a supercharger. It sounds good with the right exhaust setup. It sounds good when you have a right intake. It's smooth. It's just a, it's a super good engine. Audi put it in all kinds of models of their cars. It's been in everything from obviously the S4, the A6, the Q5, the A7. So it's it's definitely been in multiple different cars and it's held the test of time. So Number two. The second thing I like about this car is the comfort. Honestly, this car is pretty comfortable. It's got six-way adjustable seats, lumbar. Almost every seat in the car is bolstered. Even the back seats are bolstered, which is really, really cool. It's not like it's the biggest back seat. Not that I really have people back here anyway. How cool, I mean, the back seats are bolstered. That's pretty awesome. I absolutely love the inlays in this car. It's one of the main reasons I bought this model, aside from that. Reason number three, the sound system. Some people really bag on the Bang & Olufsen. Bang & Olufsen? Bang & Olufsen, 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 Bang & Olufsen. Bang and Olufsen. B and O sound system. I will say it's not as good as the Harman and Cardin from my BMW, but Bang and Olufsen system is pretty good. But when you consider just buying a car, overall the sound system in this car is pretty decent. It's pretty clean. It is kind of notorious for having the amplifiers for the subwoofer, or maybe it's for the whole system go out. I did a little bit of research on that, but luckily I haven't ran into any of those issues. I will say the bass isn't as is solid or as deep. <laughs> the as my voice cracks, the bass, the bass. The bass isn't as deep or as crispy as my BMW or a couple other cars that I've owned, but it's definitely better than just like a normal stereo system. Number four. Dang, I can't get enough speed from that side. <laughs> Number four. Gosh, dang it. That was the best one. Number four. Yes. Reason number four is the all-wheel drive system, and I kind of combine this one. The looks, honestly, this car, unless you're a car person and you and you know, you know this is a B8 and you know what time they were produced, a lot of my friends or a lot of people that aren't car people, when they see this car, they think it's a 16 or a 17, and the interior, even as it's outdated to us, it's still not that outdated. I mean, you get inside some of these newer cars and it really doesn't look too much different. Maybe the screen's a little bit bigger and definitely a little more crisp. Might have a couple more features like the uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. For being a 12-year-old car, it still looks great. The car's pretty timeless. It looks awesome. I really do like these wheels. As much as I'd like to change them, I'm not 100% sure. I've always wanted to have a pair of Stasis wheels, so maybe I might find a pair that's not ridiculously overpriced at some point. Back to the whole point. The lines on it are great. The rear end looks awesome. The front end, I definitely like the B8 and half a little bit better but overall this car still looks really really good for being 12 13 years old so the all-wheel drive system is fantastic i have owned probably about 13 cars now from jeeps trucks all-wheel drive cars rear-wheel drive cars front-wheel drive cars and hands down i've never had a car that's better in the snow than an audi absolutely not the quattro system is fantastic the four series platform is so far from what i've owned the best i've never ever had to put snow tires on the car and i feel like if i did it'd just be a next level game changer i ran an a4 one time with sport tires on it all through the winter in north idaho it definitely snows up there quite a bit and got around just completely fine. And they're extremely fun to drive in the snow if you do want to go slide around. I'm sure you could find a million videos of people doing it on YouTube. The all-wheel drive system is legendary in the Audi and it's just one of those things that it brings an extra peace of mind when you're in really, really heavy snow, really wet roads, hydroplaning potentially. It, it's a, it's a, it's a beast. It's great in the snow, it's great in the water, and it's super awesome if you launch the car. It's got tons of traction. It checks all the boxes. The only downfall is that you obviously can't break the tires loose and slide around like you can in a rear wheel drive car. Number five. Number five is the price point. This car new was between $45,000 and $50,000 depending on how you spec it out. Thank you depreciation, but you can get a decent one all day long, anywhere between $15,000 to $25,000 depending on if you want to get the B8 and a half or if you're going to get the B8. The B8 is obviously going to be on the lower end of that scale. The B8 and a half is going to be on the higher end of that scale, but you can get them spec'd out all different ways in an automatic and in a manual. 
milk. I feel like you get so much car for the money that you're spending. And as long as someone's taking pretty decent care of the vehicle, there's not a whole lot you really need to worry about. If you could go out and find one that had the PCV valve replaced, the water pump done, and the carbon cleaning, for the most part, as long as the rest of the car is in pretty good shape, you should be fine. I'm pretty excited to be able to come back and start making some YouTube videos. I do miss the BMW quite a bit, but I've already got quite a few parts for the car sitting in my garage waiting to go on. So I at least have a couple more videos coming your way. I s actually have a little bit more money now. <laughs> I was so broke when I was trying to make videos with the BMW. If you uh, want to see what I get to do with this car, I'm pretty excited. Just the journey, being able to take on some new challenges and work on the car a little bit. Uh, I'm by no means a mechanic, but I'm excited to be able to learn. It's been a dream of mine for a long time. So for me, it's all just a learning experience. It's been something I've been passionate about since I was a kid. Even now, I still feel like a kid. But if you guys want to follow along and see what that's all about, I'll have some videos coming your way here in the next couple weeks and we'll keep the ball rolling until we finish up with this one and then maybe on to something else. Thanks. Try this again. Oh crap, there's a carpet there. Well, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Uh, it's all just gonna be a good learning experience for me. That's it for today's video. Oh God. I feel like this is gonna get easier at some point. Struggle bus. Bye. Thanks for watching.